we're going to do an intramata from here. And it's going to be a real modified intramata, but boy, it's, it's really good ratio of success. It's, it's almost like an ankle style intramata. So you'll see what I mean in a moment. So the guy's bent over, okay. What Derek wants to do, he's going to do a right intramata. So he's, he's sugar footing, he's leaving the other, he's got his right foot, he's leaving the other. And you want to try to get as much body space in and close it as you can. You don't want a lot of body space initially out. And we'll talk about that in a moment. But right now, I'd like it if you could get a little closer. There we go. And so there's the grip situation. His right hand is high up here on the back. You may even have that low by the belt. But you've got a good strong back grip with your right hand. Okay? With your left hand, you've got really pretty much between the elbow and sleeve. Depends on what he'll give you. If he, if he doesn't give you much, you might have to go really low on the sleeve. But he's got basically a high grip and a low grip. Okay? Here's his position. The starting position is essential here. He's leading with that foot. Because what Derek's going to do, he's going to spin around and he's going to hit Uchimata. When he does, it's easy. Real quick here, I'll get out of your way here. Come on in. Now watch, when he does that, just keep, keep, see that really low down there? Right about the ankle area, inside the ankle area. I'll get out of his way. Go ahead. See how you lift it, and it almost splits him apart, doesn't it? That's what it's supposed to be doing, okay? So, he's got him down there, so he leaves that, he spins, and there's the Uchimana, okay?